here with Phil Schreier, senior curator for the NRA National Farms Museum. And Phil, what are we doing here dressed like this? It is Phil Noir month, all month of November on NRAnews.com and Sirius Patriot 144. I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting for this. Let's get it going, my friend, and tell us the first firearm you brought. And, and let's talk about a little about the firearm and then the film it's from. Thanks a lot for having us on, John. Uh, this is the, uh, the Colt Detector Special. It is perhaps one of the quintessential uh, revolvers from this time period. It was uh, originally introduced in 1927, and uh, during the, the run of its manufacture until the, uh, the 1970s, uh, nearly a, a million and a half of these were produced. Uh, the detective special is, is uh, generally what you see, uh, you know, as it was so aptly named in the hands of a detective, whether in real <laughs> life or on film, a little two inch barrel. Uh, they were made in 32 caliber, 38 caliber. Uh, it was a, a six shot uh, revolver, uh, nice walnut grips. Uh, later models went to some plastic. Uh, but for this time period, wood would be uh, would be appropriate. Uh, beautiful little two-inch uh, barreled gun. Uh, the Banker Special was another variant of this, and the uh, the Colt Cobra, which came out towards the end of this production run, actually had an aluminum uh, frame to it, so it was a little bit lighter. Because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of guys, uh, especially police, carrying this as an off-duty weapon, uh, like to have it in an ankle holster with a steel frame. Uh, it's a bit heavy to carry around as an yeah. ankle holster. Walk around with that for a few hours and you're going to remember that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now let's talk a little bit about the film this firearm would be seen in. But first, let's talk about the genre a little bit. Tell us, Phil, about film noir. John, uh, film noir is a, a specific genre of, of film uh, that uh, generally is credited with starting in 1941 uh, with Dashiell Hammett's uh, The Maltese Falcon and continuing, uh, well some say continues today with what they call neo-noir, uh, Pulp Fiction and other movies like that. Uh, but generally the end uh, came around uh, 1958 with uh, Charlton Heston and uh, Orson Welles in A Touch of Evil. Uh, some real classic uh, films, film noir means black film, it's a French word about the uh, the American, you know, uh, uh, style of the uh, of the World War II and immediate post World War II period, and memorable films and memorable characters from these films. Tell us a little bit uh, where we might have seen this fire. Oh, you see this in uh, just in about any uh, any film that let's say Raymond Chandler would write about F Detective Philip Marlowe. You know, whether that was William Powell or R Robert Mitchum. Uh, you know, they always had a, a two-inch detective special with them. Uh, Humphrey Bogart in dozen films, uh, to have and to have not, Key Largo, Maltese Falcon, uh, maybe not specifically a detective special in each one of those films. Some films you never see him with a pistol. His, you know, speaks uh, louder than, than bullets. <laughs> but you know, he's always got one lying around somewhere. Not, not with, <laughs> not too far out of arm's reach. So, uh, do you ever say this? This might be one of the most if not the most common firearm to be found during this genre of films. This and the, uh, the 1903 Colt, which we'll talk about next week, are the two classic film noir pistols. Great, so tell us a little more uh, about this firearm. Well, the Detective Special uh, is, a, uh, is a classic in style and workmanship. Uh, it's uh, you know, just a little two inch barrel. Uh, it came in 32 or 38 caliber. Uh, this is a steel frame. Uh, the later model, the uh, the Colt Cobra, was aluminum, so that you could carry it, you know, in an ankle holster. Uh, but this uh, was introduced in 1927, and throughout its run, which lasted until the mid 1980s, actually, uh, there were about a million and a half of these produced, along with the uh, the Banker Special and the uh, and the uh, Colt Agent and the Cobra. So. Besides just being a firearm that, that's a, a neat period piece, it's also one that you could still find available today and a great working gun as well. Yeah, uh, I personally picked this model up for my own collection uh, and it was made uh, in the uh, early 1960s and uh, they're running about 
$450 to $550. And a great firearm, concealable firearm, and just a great practical firearm for home defense or, or whatever. Very effective. That was the reason why they carried them, and they made them famous. <laughs> Very good. Now tell us how we can see, well, maybe they can't see us in costume there, but how folks yeah. could come out and, and see this firearm and others and thousands of others like it at the National Firearms Museum. Uh, John, I'm, I appreciate you asking. We're uh, open to the general public uh, seven days a week. 9.30 to, uh, to 5 and on Saturdays until 7 o'clock. The admission is free. We're located in Fairfax, Virginia off of uh, Route 50 and Interstate 66. Uh, free admission, plenty of parking, and if you don't have a chance to come out to Fairfax and see us, uh, visit us on the web at nationalfirearmsmuseum.org. Very good, Phil. And, and just, just scratching the surface here of Phil Noir Month, Thank you for, for getting us started with a, a great farm, and we'll, let's do it again next Thursday. Thanks again, John.